I'm sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but I need Waltz's files. I see. You've, uh, made your choice. Over and out. Aiden. Job is done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys. Their deaths will not be in vain. The elevators are working again. See you soon. The Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the Peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Enlist today. I, um... I have to tell you something. What? I didn't give the tower to Frank. Yeah, I know. You need to find your sister, right? You did what you did. I just want to get my sneakers back. Right. First things first. Hawk. Oh. Daniel. Aiden. How come wherever I go, I see your face, Gajo? Nice to see you too, Daniel. How's Lavan? Haven't heard from her in a while. No, I'm not sure. We haven't spoken in a while. Oh, really? You guys okay? Kana dik cha savo santinawo. E pao de vu tut mek cha. Oh, come on, please. What did you say? Bet she's avoiding you now. Seems like it. Moja yu is gojoa. E zabisturu wa pao tutter. But more likely, she's avoiding herself. What can I do? Hell if I know. Give her space. And what are you doing here? Not of tiro ma wawo nak, drena tire jewe. What do you care, Gajo? I didn't expect you'd be doing business with peacekeepers, that's all. My business is my business, not yours, my friend. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Easy, Daniel. Just making conversation. You make terrible conversation, Gajo. Why don't you go back to the running and the jumping and whatever else you're good at, hmm? Touchy, aren't you? <laughs> I'll see you, man. Can't imagine this thing once sailed at sea. You did it, Aiden! I'm guessing your message is coming through loud and clear now. <laughs> I owe you, Aiden. I really do. Our words can now reach everyone. I don't know how to thank you. I ah, sure you do. It's easy. The GRE doctor. <laughs> of course. Always to the point, eh? Like a crossbow bolt. Ah, oh, too bad Rowan the boys would never see what they've achieved. Still, the Enlightenment campaign is working. And can you tell me the single most important element of an Enlightenment campaign? The speaker? The speaker is important. His voice, his charisma, key ingredients. You're referring to yourself? What matters is... Is... What already? The range. The range? What's the point of good news if no one can hear it? Wait, you're telling me that not enough people can hear your beautiful news. And that's why I need your help one more time, Aiden. Wait, what? Now, I delivered on my part of our bargain. Now it's your turn. Turns out it's harder than I expected. Matt, I... No. You know how hard it was out there? I know. We all appreciate your efforts, but... The doctor I told you about is hiding. Which is why you were looking in the first place, right? To find him. Matt, I... I flipped the switch on your entire propaganda... Oh, sorry, Enlightenment campaign, and you can't even find one person for me? We thought we had a lead two days ago, but it was a dead end. Jack, I don't give a shit. This is taking too long. You promised. I know, son, and I intend to keep that promise. 
We'll send out information via our broadcast. We'll ask everyone. Everyone. I will personally ask anyone who comes to join us about that doctor. All I'm asking you is, help me boost the signal range so it reaches more people. And the search will be easier. Fuck, Matt. This is not how it was supposed to go. I know. I know, son. But our goals are aligned here, as you can see. Just... Just tell me what to do. Thank you, Aiden. Here are the antenna positions. We have to adjust them to our frequency. After this, no more favors, Jack. The first antenna is on top of the tallest office building in the Wolf, near the park just south of Marsh End Lane. Good luck. Not really. Damn. Yeah. He hasn't shown up in the canteen, not answering the radio. Where the hell is she? No idea, Frank. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck that. You're a bad seed, Aiden. You really screwed us. And you gave him the station knowing how it hurt us. So help me if anything happens to her again. Whoa, slow down, Frank. What do you mean, again? Luan has her kill list. She's obsessed with it. Her kill list will only kill her, I'm telling you, Aiden. You really need to pull yourself together, Frank. I'll let you know if I hear from Luan. <laughs> Shit. Jack, I'm close to the first antenna. Good. You know what to do. Aiden, just checking if everything is... I'm fine, Jack. You don't sound good. Yeah, yeah. Just be careful. There might be renegades lurking there. <sighs> okay, the antenna is on. You served with the Butcher once. What do you think he's planning? I really don't know, Aiden. The Butcher has always been a mystery to me. The good leader listens and appreciates good soldiers. Him? Never. Never. And now, whatever he's planning, he needs to be stopped at all costs. What was that? No idea. I see fire and smoke. Renegade. They're up to something. You'd better check it out. Sure. Shit, Aiden. The renegades just destroyed one of the antennas. And they're about to destroy another one. Hurry. It's the last one. You must get there before they do. Going as fast as I can. Jack. You there? Jack. I destroyed the cannon. Oh, Steven here. Jack Matt's unavailable at the moment. Is there something... Give me that. But, sir, you need to rest. Leave me! Now! Aiden? Took care of the punks and the cannon is no longer a threat. Just what I wanted to hear. Whose voice was that just now? No one. Let me know when you activate the next antenna. Nothing. I told you what. Kyra, I'm near the GRE lab. Back off, Daniel. I heard from her. All she said was not to worry and disconnect it. I, I assume she needs. Where do I look? And that's what I'm giving her. But you're free to look for her yourself. And done. The antenna's working.
I would rather talk about that GRE doctor. Oh, fuck. What's going on? Report to me, soldier. Renegades and their cannons. Shit. How is the antenna? You must stop them. What do you think I'm trying to do? The antenna's fine for now. Jack, it's all good. Good. We're bringing together more and more people. Come to the ship, Raider. There's a recruit here who knows how to find your doctor. We'll be there soon. Raider, you're here. I'm glad. Okay, that's it for now. So, you're still here, Gadjo. Thank you, my friend. For everything. How will I ever repay you? Are you working with Daniel? Sure. We trade with whoever's got what we need, at the right price. Nomads, they're an odd bunch, isolated by choice, but they have the best scouts out there. You need something hard to get? You can get it from them, guaranteed. You can finally tell me how to find that doctor like we agreed. Of course, of course. Bring Cadet Gunter in here. Aiden, we've also located a renegade officer's squad. If we hit them, we'll have the upper hand. I've already gathered a team, which includes Luan. You want in on the action? Let's talk about that doctor first. As you wish. Gunter, this is Aiden. You are here because of his efforts. We've met before. Yes, we have. Sir, I have met him, sir. Tell him what you know about that GRE doctor. The doctor is still working at the bazaar. Bazaar? Really? What's his name? Ryan. Veronica Ryan. Wow. Her? <laughs> what a trip. What's so funny? She's one of the first people I met after entering the city. You know old Villador quite well, don't you? What's going on there now? Since Aitor left, the PKs were driven out. Many of your men died there, sir. There have been rumors that the Renegades took control of the whole region. And everyone literally hates your guts for what you did, sir. Okay, so where exactly do I find the doctor? Somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good. Finally. Okay, Cadet Gunter. That's all. Now go back to your training. Yes, sir. Good luck, Aiden. <coughs> Damn it! <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> Just leave for fuck's sake. <coughs> Aiden, it's not like you haven't done enough. We're deeply in your debt. I'm just worried Lawan might fall short of accomplishing her mission. Our nomad friends tracked down the location of one of the Renegade's top commanders. He's in a building at the west end of the garrison, right by Mount Lucid Bridge. So that's what Daniel is helping you with. Correct. Eliminating him before attacking the Colonel is critical and time sensitive. The Wands part of your plan to attack the Colonel? Yes. I'm going to give the Butcher what he deserves. And this city, it deserves peace, Aiden. I'm sure you agree. The question is whether you'd be willing to help get there. I'll see if I can help, but I really have to get things started with Dr. Ryan. Understood. Good luck, Aiden. Somebody's still here. Demolin? What are you doing here? Please, don't hurt me. I'm not a renegade. What are you doing here? I'm... I was here to talk. Trying to... Negotiate. With the Butcher's people? Yes, for... Well, you see... For whom? Juan sent you? Yes. He... He wants peace. He believes... He believes that Jack Matt is a bigger threat than the Colonel. You must see this as well. I'll make my own judgments. Just try to look beyond the surface. That only works as long as the surface is clear. Does that mean you'll hand me over? 
Are you going to tell Matt about me? You did nothing wrong. I'm just trying to follow orders. Just... Just go. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jack. Where you been, kid? Waiting for you at the ship. Yeah, about that. Long story short, Hakon wasn't quite as dead as I thought when we last spoke. What happened? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The Colonel's forces have been weakened. The time has come to deliver the final blow. Get back to the ship. We'll discuss what to do next. No one, I repeat, no one must know about this. But sir, this is an extremely serious... Of course it is. But this is a private matter. Private? Yeah. Now get the fuck out of here. Uh, Jack? Raiden, glad you're here. I'm sure you'll be meeting Veronica Ryan soon. Thanks to you, we know more about what's going on among the Butcher's troops. There won't be a better time to hit them. So tomorrow, when we attack, <coughs> I shall call on you again. <coughs> Isn't attacking the Colonel at the dam too risky? I know how to take care of the city, Aiden. Think of the bigger picture. Hypothetically, isn't the risk worth it? You mean the, the lives of thousands? The city in order, the strong leadership, safety. Isn't all this worth anything? So there is a risk then? There's never not a risk, Aiden. That's my point. <laughs> <coughs> Are you okay? You seem... Uh... Weak? Is that what you're trying to say? That cough, I mean, the doctor seemed agitated. I'm worried about your health. I'm dying, Aiden. Cancer. Oh, but, but how long before you... Weeks, months, nobody knows. Medicine nowadays... How could anybody know anything, really? I'm... I'm so sorry, sir. I don't need pity. I need you to keep doing what you're doing. You know why? Because a man is only worth what he leaves behind. And I want to leave this world a better place. This city, a safer place. You mean, without the Colonel? Yes, the Butcher. This... This will be my legacy. <coughs> and that's all I need from you, to help me with that. I'm going to meet Veronica, but when the time comes, you can count on me. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you. Hey, Frank? Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. How can I warn them? I got no way to send out an emergency broadcast. I'll try to reach as many as possible. God, shit. Jack Matt is looking for you. Apparently, there's a way to get into the stronghold. Go to the ship. Get the details. I... I have to go to the fisheye checking on the wounded. And Frank... He went out to warn people before the missiles hit. They say he got hurt pretty bad. Aiden, nobody can know about Veronica. Remember, I know it wasn't you who did that, but Jack, the peacekeepers, they won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't. Before you stands Von Rainer. Guilty of treason and conspiring against the peace and order in Villador. You conspired with the Butcher, the man responsible for the recent attacks. Yes, I spoke with the Colonel, but only to save the city. The person you call the Butcher, he's innocent. The true Butcher is right there, on this ship. What, what the hell? What is he talking about? Open your eyes! Matt is gambling with our lives as he did 11 years ago, when he killed Half the city! Because of his hubris, the military failed to evacuate the city! You claim you serve justice, 
If this is truth, then I demand a real Matt trial. was responsible for the missile strike years I, ago? I'd heard some rumors, but... It doesn't make any sense. Matt wants to attack the dam. If he does, the whole city will be flooded with chemicals. Do you all want to die? Attacking the dam? That's suicide. Someone should look into this. The commander agreed on the trial you wanted. We checked all evidence. And in the name of law, justice, and order, you're sentenced to death for treason. Aiden! Williams must not die! He's your only chance to... Ah! 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 No! What if he was telling the truth? What if more attacks are coming? He was just renegade scum. That's all. Attacking the dam is madness. <sighs> Everyone knows that. Here you are. For a moment there, I was afraid I'd lost you. Were you watching? Yeah. I've witnessed my share of executions, Aiden. The condemned will say anything to save themselves. That's why torture has proven ineffective. Luan told me you know a way into the stronghold. I need to get in. As always, ready for action. Take a break. You don't look well. How things go with the GRE doctor? Did you get into the GRE database? Yeah, I did, but the information I'd hoped to find wasn't there. Hey, are you okay? Damn. Let me get the doctor. <clears throat> no. Just wait. <sighs> What's wrong with you? <clears throat> Something bad. That's why I have to find Watts. He's got the key. There is one person who can get to him. The Butcher. I want to get to him as well. Williams will pay for the bombing of the city. He knew what was going to happen. He'd withdrawn his troops from the places that were bombed. I saw Walt triggering the missile launch procedure. If Walt said anything like that, it was under orders from Williams. You asked me about getting into the stronghold. First, I need someone to sneak in there and lower the bulkheads. That'll lower the water level, so we can get in through an airlock. The stronghold has been impenetrable so far. How's this someone sneaking in there? The Butcher used trucks to evacuate his people from his camps. One of his drivers is on my, uh, payroll, let us say. Payroll? He's a fucking traitor. But what matters is he's betraying our enemies. He'll get you inside. Are you sure we can trust him? He's a renegade, isn't he? It's the surest way to get into the stronghold, trust me. And the safest, to prevent the Butcher from flooding the city. Wait for my signal. I will re-establish my contact with the driver and let you know. Hey, you seen the- In the one? Jack's got a plan for getting into the stronghold. It was a massacre, Aiden. What? Where are you? Canteen. Come here quick. Lots of casualties. Frank's in critical condition. Okay. I'm on my way. Today, I thought our chances against renegades were pretty good. Bandages? Does anyone have any bandages? Why didn't anybody warn us? Why? The colonel should pay for this. Blood for blood. Bandages. Get me more bandages. Hey, what about Frank? He's still fighting, but everything is gone. Drugs, water. I will kill them. I will kill Williams and Waltz. How could they have done this, Aiden? Psychopaths. Go on. It doesn't look good. Aiden. I'm here, I'm here. You're gonna be fine. I'm sure I got the crap in. Promise me, whatever happens, promise that Luan will. She'll be safe, Frank. I promise. Frank. Oh, Frank. Frank? Frank? Frank, bastard! Fight! You're a goddamn night runner! <sighs> you promised you wouldn't leave me. Right, go 
Spider-Man. Where are you going? To my place. To get ready. I'm gonna kill Williams and Waltz. Goodbye, Frank. Jack, what about that driver? I need time, Aiden. We don't have time. Frank's dead. And the one, she's going after the butcher on her own. She's what? No! You cannot let her do that, Aiden. If she goes there now in this state, she'll ruin my plan. I just need more time. Stop her and wait for my signal. <laughs> You'd better hurry. Luan? Luan, you there? I'm here. You can't go to the stronghold, Luan. <laughs> Want a slug? I just came here to beg you to stay put. That's it. <laughs> That's it? Just be a friend, Aiden. Can you just sit here with me? Frank, wherever you are, this one's for you. It's hard to think of a better way to remember him. When you say it like that, it's actually really, really sad. Now drink. Luan, I... it's not safe for you to be around me. You know I can't control it. When I was with Jack, I... I almost turned. I'll manage Waltz on my own. You know this is between me and him. He'll tell me what happened to Mia. How to... Stop my transformation, then I'll leave. So this is a goodbye? Sort of. Maybe not. <sighs> Stop talking nonsense. There are UV lamps here. I'm safe, and I just want to make one thing clear, Aiden. One thing. I'm going with you. We'll kill them together. You'll get your revenge. Don't deprive me of mine. Luan, you need to stay away from the stronghold. <laughs> Why? Because fucking Jack said so? And we'll get him. But, uh, not today. Not like that. It's too risky. You'll die in there and... <laughs> and why do you care? <laughs> hmm? Spare me your... Whatever that was going to be. It's okay to be angry. And who the fuck are you? Hello, Mr. Buddha, Captain fucking Yoga Enlightenment. Good to meet you. Now shut the fuck up. Give me back my friend. You talking about me? Or the bottle? I don't want you to get killed. That's all. Stop pretending you're my father, Aiden. That was Frank's role. I'll miss it. I miss him. Yeah, I know. Are you ever afraid? Like, really afraid? What do you mean? Are you ever afraid that this is pointless? That after all this effort, you won't find your sister? Ever? I'm more afraid of what I'm turning into. That I'll become a monster. Like the ones we're fighting. <laughs> you won't be a monster. Ever. Give me your hand. <laughs> I won't bite. Well, not hard. <clears throat> Remember? You see? You're like my brother. You'd never hurt me. You'll never become a monster in my eyes. Anyway, don't worry. I won't go to the stronghold. You can relax now. You sure? Yes. I'm crazy, but not that crazy. 
I'll wait. <laughs> that grumpy old bastard kept saying that I'm the future of the Night Runners. He'd come back from the dead and kill me if I did anything that stupid. To Frank. Aiden? Yes? I'm drunk. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> and I'm sad. Well, let's put you to bed. Okay. Don't leave me alone tonight, okay? Just... Just stay here. <laughs> sure. The one? The one? What the? I couldn't stay. Sorry. His truck is parked by the old shopping mall at Garrison and Riverend. The one went after the butcher. What? You were supposed to stop her! Not good. If she's caught, the plan is ruined. They'll kill her. Okay, listen. Getting in there is extremely difficult. Even if she could, it would take her some time. Get your ass in gear and find the driver. On my way. The one. Shit. The one. Can you hear me? I'm on my way to the Colonel's stronghold. Wait for me there. Hang back and don't go after the butcher until I get there. You hear me? trying to reach you. Oh, were you? You promised. Promised that you wouldn't take the risk. Well, people change their minds, Aiden. Get used to it. Those assholes are on my kill list. Number one with a crossbow bolt. So, now I'm going after them. Are you in or out? Luan, listen, something has changed. It's not that simple. To me, it's dead simple. You in or out? Luan said it's not over yet. Walt's triggered some kind of failsafe, and only Williams may know how to stop it. <sighs> and you trust Juan? What did he have to lose? Hmm? He was about to die. So it could be his final stab at manipulating you. Since you want to spare the motherfucker's life because of his last words. The controls are in that room. You go first. Shouldn't we find the colonel before lowering the bulkheads? The what? What the hell are you doing? The what? Sorry. I don't want to lose any more friends. This is between me and them now, Aiden. Luan! Luan! You're making a huge mistake! Answer me! Come on, please, Luan. Come on, Luan, think. What if he is the only way to save the city? Stay back, or I'll kill both of you. Don't hurt him. I think you don't do it. Luan! Luan, wait. And you're Aiden, I presume. Nice to finally meet you. Stay out of this, Aiden. As you can see, we're having a sort of standoff. Call off your mad, Williams. Why? So that you can kill me? Trust me, you don't want to kill me. If you do, you'll never stop the next missile strike. Shut up, asshole. Wait, what are you talking about? Let my wife go and I'll explain everything. I won't leave you here. The one? Wait, what's this next missile strike you're talking about? The failsafe protocol I stopped years ago has been reactivated. What the hell does that mean? It means bombs being dropped on our heads to destroy the contamination zone, like in other cities. It's not over yet. 
Bullshit! Lower the bulkheads and let Jack in. You think Villador survived accidentally? Kill me and you'll never stop the attack, Aiden. I won't let you hurt her. Shoot him, Luan. Don't leave me hanging, Aiden. We're so close. Luan, are you okay? We need to let Jack and his men in. Hurry! Lower the bulkheads, Aiden. You all right? I heard something, Aiden. From that direction. You know, it could have been the Butcher. I heard his voice. He's trying to escape. We gotta get him. Luan, stop. You're bleeding. Please. I've had worse hangovers. Just stay put. I'll find Williams. Okay. Just kill him this time. And give him my regards just before you do it. Hello? Anyone here? Stay the fuck away from me! Don't move! You hear me? Put that down. Now! Where's Williams? I don't know. Not here, I swear. What is this place? That psychopath, Waltz, <laughs> Walt, are these his quarters? Just calm down and tell me. Yes, but I, I've never been here. I don't know anything. That's not the safest place to hide. Go, find somewhere else. If anyone asks, we never met. Thank you. We're in the stronghold. My men saw Williams running away with a handful of renegades. Quickly, come outside. See that, Aiden? When the water receded, it uncovered an entire district. The butcher took the men and fled towards that hill. I've sent my men after him, but I might not be able to manage on their own. I'll send you their coordinates. I'll find him. It's all over, Williams. That's men took over the stronghold. Aiden. <sighs> it's over, Aiden. You see, ever since this city ran out of ammo, I was keeping some for a special occasion. This bullet was really meant for Waltz. We can still work together, Williams. I... Work together? Why would I do that? Well, if you really want to stop Waltz, that's a big reason. Maybe. But there is one problem. You just killed my people. The last who were loyal to me. I don't trust you. It's over, Aiden. This city is doomed. 
Just tell me where Waltz is, Williams. Tell me how to find him, and I'll leave you alone. Stupid kid. You really think you're gonna stop him? I was trying, but he tricked me, and you. You will manage to deal with him? Say your prayers, Pilgrim. Come on. Shoot. You won't stop, Walt. The city will fall, and you will prove the people are right. You are the Butcher. I see it in your eyes. He experimented on you. You're turning. You really want to stop him, do you? I wanted to save lives, Aiden. Even back then, years ago. That's why I stopped the procedure. The one Waltz just reactivated. I was trying to warn him. But he took most of my men and went rogue. Then how can the airstrikes be stopped? The same way they were triggered. With the GRE key. If Waltz has it. Yeah, he needed it for a place called X-13. Where is it? I know very little except... He talked about it as if it was his last resort. It's the main GRE complex they built when they isolated the city. You can get there through the tunnels. The entrance is in garrison in the central loop. Good luck, Aiden. Save this city. Save yourself. <laughs> Yes. He's dead, Matt. He took William's men and went to the city center. To X-13. Williams mentioned tunnels in the center. The entrance is in the garrison district in the central loop. Come back to me. I'll arrange transport. Aiden, it's good you're here. Walter's headed to the tunnels on Tower Plaza Drive. We gotta stop him before he gets to X-13. The transport is ready. Take that car. I'll be right behind you. I wish Bizarre Folk could talk to us. Try to hold on, Jack. Another attack. Williams was right. I need to get the key from Waltz before he destroys the entire city. Be careful. That cloud is full of chemicals. It'll kill you. Or turn you into a monster. It's too late to worry about that, Jack. Luan? You're the strongest person. I've ever known. I know, I know. Just take Mia and leave. You'll save her, Aiden. You'll find a way. I know you will. I'm sorry. I failed you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Follow the evacuation route to the nearest exit. I got you. 
you're safe. Aiden. We're getting out of here, Luan. on with you? He's gonna get you out of there. Keepers are the guarantee of prosperity and safety. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to feel some of that legendary prosperity in my pocket. What's your poison? Beer, but only if it's not flat. Somebody stabs her in the back. Have any of my people passed through recently? 
You mean a pilgrim? Why do you ask? I'm looking for a friend. Thought he was coming here. A pilgrim was here, but not anymore. Where'd he go? Wherever the road took him. Same as the rest of you. Did he find what he was looking for here? From what I've heard, yeah. His sister. But they said she was so weak, she lived only for a couple more hours. He stayed with her, buried her under an old oak tree. Then he turned toward the horizon and kept on walking. Poor guy. If it wasn't for him, there wouldn't be a single brick still standing in this city. So why didn't he stay? They said he was starting to change taking a drug that was destroying him. People like him are better off on the road.